Greg? I can't get over the fact that you know what onesie decorating is. I've been boning up. Invasive non-small cell with a history of COPD. Guy's pretty much a goner, huh? Are you new here? Visiting. Confounded by all the rain, and it's only my first day in town. You get used to it. Makes me want to stay in bed all day. So, do you ever go out with coworkers? I, um, make it a rule not to. That I am so glad that I don't work here. Are you hitting on me? In the hospital? Would that be wrong? We're the dirty mistresses. I suppose we are. What do you think you're doing? You need stitches. I know. Hold the mirror. What happens with Donna now? She goes back to being an unhappy man who's stuck with a penis. There are millions of us out there. You're unhappy with your penis. That could be a lot less unhappy. Maybe it's for the best that he's taking some space. Maybe you two aren't meant to be together. There are rules to this friendship thing or whatever. The Dirty Mistresses Club has rules? Gosh, you'd think a bunch of dirty mistresses would be a little less uptight about things like rules. Number one, no flirting. Second, no talking about Derek. And C, no giving me the face. The face? The McSteamy face. Doesn't work on me, I'm immune. You know, if I'd gone off to the woods, I would have invited you to keep me warm. Breaking rules one, two, and three. McSteamy. <laughs> McSteamy! Woohoo! Uh, is that what you're calling me now, McSteamy? Yeah, but I don't think you're supposed to know that. That's my favorite dirty mistress. Haven't you heard? Now I'm an adulterous whore. What? What do you say we have a real meeting at the Dirty Mistresses Club? Like what it should have been from the beginning. What are you doing? Once. 20 minutes in the on-call room, nobody ever finds out. Mark. What, you tell me everything's great between you and Derek? What makes you think there is something wrong between me and Derek? Something's always wrong between you and Derek. Enough. What is wrong <sighs> with you? Nothing. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm impressed. I didn't think you'd pull this off. I'm actually pretty surprised myself, considering it was my first time trick-or-treating. Your first time? Yeah, my mom never made it home in time to take me. Never got it together to make me a costume. Plus, she said it was rude to knock on people's doors and beg for food. Huh. What? Just... The apple fell pretty far from the tree, huh? How's the solo surgery coming along, Ray? Well, I think it's going okay, but you should probably ask the chief here. Well, she's doing great. Well, she chose a cautery one night. At one point, I probably would have gone with scissors, but she made it work. We'll be out of here in plenty of time for the wedding. Good. And she won't have any excuses. Excuse me? This is the second time I've been Derek's best man. I have to come up with a toast, offer some words of wisdom. It's a lot of work. I don't want to have to be his best man a third time, if you know what I mean. So you came in here to threaten me? I'm his best man. That's my job.